Hello and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a trip to downtown Los Angeles, where we're going to visit a few recommended spots that I have for travelers when visiting the city. Some of those spots include Olivera Street, the Walt Disney Concert Hall, and the Last Bookstore. There's going to be many more spots in between, but that's just to name a few, and it's going to be a hot, hot day today. So uh, the earlier we get started, the better. So let's get to it. If you're on a budget, Union Station will operate as the hub of getting around the downtown area. Just make sure to keep your expectations in check because even though the metro system has improved in Los Angeles, public transportation as a whole is nowhere near the same level as places such as New York or Vienna, Austria. But for the area we're covering today, utilizing the metro system will save you plenty of time, energy, and money. You have from now until 12 to get your raffle tickets. You can buy your raffle tickets right at the booth in front of the Pico house. That's right. Make sure to grab your raffle tickets right there. I'm going to go down the list and let you know exactly what we're going to be raffling about. So make sure, first off, you come and support DPP Boys Baseball. Olivera Street was a lot more busier than what I've been used to, but uh, it was great to see all those cars. I hope you guys enjoyed that as well. But now we are on to the next uh, little stop. So uh, yeah, let's continue on our little journey here.
been a hot day today. I think it's been in the 90, 95. Uh, hopefully at our next stop, uh, we will have an opportunity to buy some water, maybe a coffee. That uh, That's something I did not have this morning. So uh, energy level's a little low and all this walking, ah, not good game planning, but we carry on. Well, now that we have been cleansed of our sins, it's off to the next spot and hopefully we can find a nice place that serves very cold beer. Fingers crossed. Let's get to it. Better late than never, my goodness. Whew. Caffeine, baby. So it's been a while since I've been to Grand Park here in downtown. Uh, usually it's way, way, way more busy. This is completely empty. Uh, it's a little surprising compared to Olivera Street. Apparently that's where all the action's at. But um, I think it's the heat. Obviously a lot of people don't want to be walking around playing tourist right now in the 98 degree weather. So uh, I think that's a thing, but it's beautiful day beautiful afternoon here and uh yeah i'm gonna enjoy it as much as possible because yeah like i said it's rarely this empty and quiet and peaceful
nothing like these uh, reflections bouncing off these walls right to the dome, right to the face. So the Walt Disney Concert Hall is amazing from the outside. I've been on the inside of it. It's beautiful. It's great. However, I think the best part is the little rooftop garden area that kind of goes unnoticed when you're walking uh, street level and taking photos of the outside and the design, which again, it's very beautiful, but... Um, once you go up those stairs, you got this very little nice uh, getaway. It's calm. It's relaxing. You got beautiful views of the downtown area. So make sure that when you visit the Walt Disney Music Hall to find those stairs, there's uh, two sets of stairs on opposite sides of the building here. And you're rewarded with this beautiful uh, area that uh, is one of my favorite spots in the city of Los Angeles and every opportunity I get this is one stop that I definitely uh, uh, visit. Uh, it's pretty funny because this whole area seems pretty much dead. There's not even that many vehicles on the road right now. This is absolutely nothing. But during the week, I'm pretty sure it's a whole other story. That area gets jam-packed, bumper-to-bumper traffic. You've seen the movies. You've heard the tales. Uh, but today, everything is very slow, very chill, very relaxed. So I guess I picked a good day to uh, come on this little walking tour and show you guys... Uh, the hood, my hood. Uh, very excited, very happy uh, to share this with you guys. And so uh, we're done here. Let's uh, continue on to the next spot and hopefully get a beer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am now walking 
where a scene was shot for one of the greatest American movies ever made, Rush Hour 1, and I think Rush Hour 3 had a scene right here. But again, greatest American film ever made, Rush Hour. One point of interest that I recommend to check out is the Los Angeles Public Library that is straight ahead of us here. I didn't visit today, but if you have time, it's a nice library with plenty of things to see and do. If you or somebody you know has a Los Angeles library card, you can park in their lot, have your ticket validated, and explore the downtown area for one or two dollars. It's a good little trick if you have a car and want to spend less than four hours in the area.
so there you have it ladies and gentlemen that was the last bookstore i know i sped through that a little bit because on the weekends the people bombard that place so if you're on the claustrophobic side of things i wouldn't recommend visiting on the weekend and just wait for a weekday um, but i did record an entire walkthrough and i'm going to be posting that as a separate video it was seven eight minutes that just tells you shows you how big that bookstore is in the heart of downtown Los Angeles. And so, uh, yeah, if you want to check that out, uh, stay tuned for that. Um, for this video, I chopped it down um, to speed things up a little bit. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed this walking tour of some of my favorite spots in Los Angeles. I am exhausted. I am dead. My legs are done. Um, just waiting a couple of minutes before I go meet some friends and drink one or two or three or four beers and slowly recuperate from the day's activities so if you enjoyed this video please feel free to subscribe like do all the things uh and i will catch you in the next video Peace.